Onto this story tonight, the death of an actress, Natalie Wood, is still one of Hollywood's greatest unsolved mysteries. Well, now, nearly four decades later, investigators say there is a person of interest. Kick on Ice Peter Dout joins us now live in the studio with more details on the story. Peter? Jeff and Elsa in life, Natalie Wood was one of the world's biggest film stars, but it's her mysterious death off Catalina Island that keeps her legend alive. And now, investigators are revealing new leads to 48 Hours. In 1981, Natalie Wood was out sailing with her husband Robert Wagner, actor Christopher Walken, and Captain Dennis Deverne when she mysteriously disappeared. I remember people coming on the boat saying that she had drowned. Wood's death was quickly ruled an accidental drowning, but questions remained. Deverne claimed the couple had a terrible fight before she disappeared. I believe that Robert Wagner was with her up until the moment she went into the water. 30 years later in 2011, the LA County Sheriff's Department reopened the case. The medical examiner, after reviewing photos of bruises and the autopsy report, changed the manner of Wood's death from accidental to undetermined. Because she looked like the victim of an assault. Veteran homicide detective Ralph Hernandez and Lieutenant John Carina say they now have corroboration for Deverne's story about the fight. Two new witnesses claiming they not only heard the fight, but one says she saw it. Saw figures on the back of the splendor male and a female, whose voices they recognized as being Robert Wagner and Natalie Wood. Investigators still don't know how Natalie Wood got into the water. I think it's suspicious enough to make us think that something happened. I don't think she got in the water herself. I don't think she fell into the water. But Robert Wagner has long said it was an accident. He only realized she was missing when he went out to look for her, and she was gone. Back in 2011, Lieutenant Karina said Wagner was not a suspect, he still isn't, but now? As we've investigated the case over the last six years, I think he's more of a person of interest now. We know now that he was the last person to be with Natalie before she disappeared. Through his publicist, 87-year-old Wagner declined to comment. You can see much more on the Natalie Wood case Saturday on 48 Hours on our sister station, CBS2.